Welcome back. David Tayo here for The New School. Today's Pro Tools quick tip is called quantizing. Uh, lots of powerful quantize functions in Pro Tools, including input quantize. We could go on for quite a while. Groove extractions, oh my goodness, we can do all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm going to show you a basic quantize today. So you can see I've got all these notes in my uh, MIDI editor window and they're not quite lining up with the grid. The lines, the, uh, the vertical lines here, are each representing eighth notes in music. Now, uh, let's pretend as though these guys up top are a bunch of hi-hats that should be tapping away on eighth notes, and maybe this is like a, a kick and a snare pattern down here uh, between these two notes that keep going back and forth. If we want to make those perfectly in time, what we need to do is quantize them. So I'm going to hit Alt-0 and pull up my uh, event operations window. Quantize is the default function. Uh, you can, of course, choose a bunch of different things, but quantize is the first function that comes up. And I know that each, musically, each one of those notes are eighth notes. And my grid is on eighth notes. I can kind of see it's close to lining up, but it's not quite lining up. Well, let's make that happen. To select all of those notes all at the same time, I'm going to hit Control A, I mean select all, and I'm simply going to come over to the event operations window, and I'm going to say my quantized grid should be eighth notes and apply. And you just see them all line right up, everything's perfectly in time, so if we were to play that back with some drum samples on it, the timing would be uh, perfect. All right, thank you kindly. See you tomorrow. Dave Tayo for The New School. Bye.